We are mirror minds, and as Germans, we are very pragmatic. We are going to free the world from annoying software manuals. Meet Hans. He's a great accountant for over 30 years. He's really good at his job. But then there's this new resource planning software that completely turned his world upside down. So he now has to study countless manuals to kind of figure out how to do things. And then he ends up calling the IT and ask for help over and over again. And Anna, she works in IT, and she has to answer the same questions over and over again daily. She spends 30% of her time on service and support only. And a typical conversation oh, looks, well, uh, it's, it's a different slide. Well, anyways, we solve that problem because we uh, provide the technology that allows Hans to step-by-step -step, uh, see how the application works and, and navigate through the entire software landscape. And we do it step-by-step. This year, we launched Flowshare. Flowshare is a Windows software, and Anna uses Flowshare to automatically generate guides that are beautifully layouted. But uh, already 50 companies love Flowshare, but they will love our next product even more. And we have secured a 150,000 innovation grant to develop the Mirror Companion. It replaces recorded guides directly in the software interface of the user. So it's do-it-yourself, context-sensitive help for anything that runs on Windows. And this is how we free the world from annoying software manuals. And unlike complex and expensive ecosystems or browser-only onboardings, our solutions are cost-efficient and working with any kind of Windows software. And we go even further. We develop, we collect all workflows in a cloud repository. So then we'll be able, truly able to predict the solution when a user gets stuck in the software. Our results since February 2017. We have a 25% rate from free to paid, as we have a freemium model. And we have generated 16,000 annually recurring revenue with our first product, Flowshare, alone. And our team is based in Hamburg. We are five and three founders with very interdisciplinary expertise in software engineering, neuropsychology, and design. And we're here seeking 500,000 euro seed investment to expand in Europe once we launch a second product. So join our vision to equally empower everyone to succeed with software. And by the way, everyone who has software to explain, think about us because we got the solution for you. Sophia from Miramides, I'm ready for questions. And questions, please. Thank you, Sophia. You said the software could be applied to anything on Windows, but are there any kind of specific kind of verticals or use cases which you're focusing on in the immediate kind of like term? Yes, yes, definitely. Well, immediately we are focusing on three verticals. We have the IT companies who have their own software to explain, and they use our first product for the help desk for IT support. We have counties and administration who have like over 200 different software uh, that they have to explain and the IT departments of the administration use Flowshare, and also all the small medium enterprises with complex IT infrastructures like logistics, they use Flowshare to automatically generate those guides. So just to understand, are these tutorials and what, what people are creating using your software, are they meant to be used for in-house software packages, something that the conglomerates have created them for, for themselves or that has been tailor-made for them? Or are these like commercially available packages? Uh, it's so to, to, yeah. to be very specific. Yes, you have a, like I don't know. BMW has accounting packages. They have Microsoft Word. They have PowerPoint and so on. Would they create their own tutorials for all these software packages, uh, or, or only for those that they have created in house? They could create those tutorials for any software they use. So but wouldn't it make sense to actually create? standardized tutorials that you could actually sell from an app store to all the companies who use this, a particular uh, accounting software or HR software or something like that. It would be great maybe to start partnerships with those, but so far we only provide the software and they generate the guides themselves. But it's okay. a good idea for partnerships. Then. Yeah, there's a company uh, who is doing what you're doing, but they're actually creating the tutorials 
but they're doing that for board games. Mm -hmm. So a big problem with board games is that people don't want to read the manuals, so these guys are actually creating the manuals for them, like interactive tutorials and so mm -hmm. on. Maybe it's called Play More Games. They're still very much in beta, but you might want to look at their business model because it's kind of a different angle to the same approach. Yeah. Thing. Thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm having a little hard time understanding your business. And I, I guess, how big is the market, do you think? Mm -hmm. And what's it like to get market adaptation? Mm -hmm. Oh, the uh, market in general is the IT support market, and it is 140 billion euro large in general in, in the whole world. And we are targeting the small and medium-sized enterprises. And the market based on the conversion rate from, let's say, 5% is about 11 million euro per year. So this is the really realistic market that we can target in the next five years. So you're going to sell how? Uh, we are, uh, right now, we're selling through our website, so we have a freemium model. Someone can download the free software or try the pro version and then, then buy. And from, from now on, when we launch a second product, then we have already a customer base and we can do some upselling. I'll keep going, I guess. Do um, you think that people, you, are you going to rely s solely on web sales? I'm just trying to figure out how you know offices would buy from from web sales. Uh, oh, it's of course it's a great question. Well, we we gain our first customers from from trade shows. So we talked to about 500 companies in three days, and uh, this was our fir our first customer base. But we have a really cheap product for now. It starts at 14 euro per user per month. So doing direct sales for us, it's not that very lucrative. And so now we're looking more into social selling online sales and building and a great outbound strategy. Thank you strategy. very much, Sophia. Thank you, Mira Mines. Thank you, Thank Next you very much.